Hey, what's going on everyone? It's the Chazzy bringing a new video on Duel Links and today we are looking at a Fire Fist deck, a beatdown Fire Fist deck to be exact, and we're going to go into PvP and see if we can actually do some damage with it, because yeah, it's a really cool deck. I've always loved it, ever since they introduced it to the game I've always thought, this one deck, the f one day, the Fire Fist deck is actually going to be good, and right now people are running the Fire Fist combo within Hazy and doing extremely well, so I'm going to just try and use the Fire Fist on their own and see what they can do as their own simple deck without any like support from Hazes. So obviously we're running the 3 Raven wheel, um, if you don't know what the Raven does is when it gets destroyed in Sense of Graveyard you can choose a fire formation spell or trap from your deck and place it in your spell and trap zone. Really really powerful effects especially in this deck and it's got 1800 defense so it's a pretty good um, like defender. From that you can obviously get your um, this one and what you do with this one is target a set spell or trap your opponent controls. They cannot activate it whatsoever as long as this is on the field. So it just basically locks them down and we'll run into two of them. So we can instantly get one of them from our deck and set it from Raven. And we can also get this one. During your main phase you can almost summon one beast warrior monster in additional. So you can basically get two summons per turn. Really cool card. Oh yeah and it powers up your warriors by 100 and I think this one does the same. Yep, all Beast Warriors gain 100, and then we're running this one as well. Um, during your main phase 1, when this card is activated, target one Beast Warrior monster you control. During this phase, um, its effects are negated, also it is unaffected by the effects of cards other than this one. So yeah, it blocks out other effects on the field, really really cool. And all Beast Warrior monster types gain 300 attack, which is really really cool. So the other monsters that we're running, we're running the Buffalo, we're running three of them. It's a pretty cool card, it's like the basic 4 star beat card in the deck, it's the only one. What you can do with this is tar um, send two or total Fire Fist or Fire Formation cards from your hand or face up on the field, send them to the graveyard and you can special summon that from the graveyard. It's an alright effect but you won't be using it that much. Coyote is really really powerful. If you control a fire formation spell or trap and no monsters, you can special summon it from your hand. So you can pull it out first turn, get the beat down off. And the main monster swallow, you can special summon this um, card from your hand. You won't be using this first effect by sending the three of um, face up fire formation spell or traps you control to the graveyard. When this is normal summon, special summon one set of fire formation directly from your deck. Blah blah blah. And the main point of this is. Face up beast warrior monsters you control can't be targeted by your opponent's card effects. That's the most important bit of the card. Really, really powerful. So yeah, that's the deck. Um, obviously you can tech in some other stuff, but I'm going to just use it the way that I want to use it, which is just basic Fire Fist. And we're going to jump in some PvP and actually see what we can do with it. It'll be pretty cool if we can pull some wins off with it. Legend right now is kind of a struggle because there are people that are trying to use the fun decks and the interactive decks and then there's obviously the tryhards that are using like the crazy powerful meta decks. It's just balancing itself out because the ladder just reset so everyone's getting to the positions. Like right now Legend is just a mess. It's, it's so hard. Because everyone's trying to get into the KC Cup. So we're going against a... Exodia deck. So my first turn, I think what I'm going to do is just set Raven in my turn. Because he's running Exodia, so he's not going to really be attacking. That I know of. So he sets down a card. Sets down... Oh, backup soldier. That's pretty cool. Summons a monster. Wand, is he going to activate the wand or go for the attack? He's going to go for the effect to draw two cards and he can get a piece of Exodia to his hand. I've got a feeling that's going to just be a jar. <clears throat> so he picked up the leg of the forbidden one. Right, draw phase. Into a buffalo. I'm going to lock down that middle card. Almost on this guy. I'm just gonna flip this and attack as well. Back up soldier will pop off for him. And it will pop off again. Oh no, oh, no. I think it's when you take a thousand. Yeah, every thousand you take, you draw. So he summons the leg. Oh, he's gonna be running something to get the Exodia pieces from his grave. 
So he's going to draw two more cards through this. Activate Temple, so he only takes a thousand damage, which is cool because it puts Raven up to a thousand damage. So he's going to, he's going to lose. He lost because three hundred. That's going to go to a thousand. I don't know what he was thinking there. So we just attack with that. That's a thousand. Backup soldier. And we win. So we beat an Exodia deck. That's something. Yeah, that Temple of the Mind's Eye really screwed him there. But Temple of the Mind's Eye really seems to be in a lot of people's deck because it kind of helps against Cyber Angels. But yeah, that's the first win. We'll go straight into another duel. See what we're gonna go against. Yeah, Japanese player, Seto Kaiba. So it'll probably be hazy. We are going second. Let's see if we get a good opening hand. Yeah, it could have been better. So we'll set that to pop. Anything crazy that you might end up doing. Um, we could attack over him, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to do this this turn. I don't think he can get the OTK. He might be running five fists as well, so he might lock down the back row. He's going to beat down an attack, which is... Completely cool. Oh no, tributed. Oh, that's. Oh yeah, because that same class is a special one. Yeah, it is. He's running the deck on about at the beginning. The Brotherhood deck. I'm not going to allow him to get that one filled. So he battles. We'll activate. Put one of these face down. We need to draw like a big boy right now. Coyote will be perfect. Hey, a boy Coyote. So right now we can activate our fight formation. We'll activate both of them. And because we have no cards, we can special summon Coyote. Then we can normal summon. Activate beatdown. 2500. And we'll attack that one as well. He'll, he'll most likely get this card and put it face down. Oh, he's going for a. T um, yeah. I thought it would be able to um, go for that just to. It's fine. Screen just messed up a little bit there, sorry. So he Cosmo, um, what's he going to target? Probably middle. Yeah, he does. He has two cards in his hand, does he have the perfect combo? We'll find out. Oh, he pulls out the Coyote as well. And then he's going to tribute the Coyote off for his Phoenix. Yep. Well, Sphinx, not Phoenix. And now I'll be able to beat down over both of my monsters. What we're we going to draw into? Raven. That's not what we really need right now. Um. Yeah, I think we just lose right now. Because we could get. Buffalo back by discarding them too, but it's not powerful enough to get over his monsters. So I'm just going to set an end. The hazy version of Fire Fist is so powerful, as you can see, he can pop off. He had hardly no cards on the field, and only two cards in his hand, and he managed to sh um, swarm. Yeah, he's just going to beat down and end me. 
I'm not going to activate, there's no point. I think if we drew into another coyote, we might have been um, a lot more safe, but unfortunately we didn't. And we haven't drawn into our swallow yet either, which is pretty unfortunate. So I'll do one more battle. And then tomorrow I might bring the video to the channel of actually showcasing their hazy fire fist deck because it really is powerful. I've got a version of it myself. I think it's like the only deck that can like fight against cyber angels and win really easily. I've seen so many phoenix deck, not phoenix, uh, fire fist hazy decks in legend. And all of them are doing so well. Like this guy right here will probably be using the same deck. So we don't open up with the best start in hand. So I think that's the only thing we can do right now. You'll probably destroy my buffalo. See, there's a fire formation. He's doing it. Yeah, and from that he can lock down my back row. I'm going to try and activate that as fast as possible if I can. Because he's going to lock it down. Yep, there it is. I don't think I can activate it. No, I can't. Because I don't have face-up warrior. Beast warrior. The deck is so powerful, it's so cool. Oh, unlucky for him. Fortunately, our trap is locked down. And we draw into an enemy controller that's useless right now. Um, I think I can... I think i got to play. Activate Buffalo. Send Coyote. No, I don't have a play. I thought I had a play. I thought I could send um, this to the graveyard, but I think it had to have been face up, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I think we lose this one as well. Just the normal Fire Fist on its own cannot compare to the Hazy version, which is really, really unfortunate. Because I really want... If, if we had a few more Fire Fist, I think the deck could be, like, top tier. But we'd need more support. Like, um, I used to play Fire Fist in a TCG, and we had this card called Fire Fist Bear. And Fire Fist Bear was really powerful. It was once per turn you can destroy one of your five uh, formation spell or traps, and if you do, you can destroy one of your opponent's monsters. It was it was really cool. And there's some other five fist cards as well, which are really cool. And unfortunately, we draw into absolutely nothing again. Super unfortunate. So we just lose. Tomorrow, I'll definitely come back to the channel with the hazy version. It's kind of cheap. You can make it a really really cheap deck because the hazies are pretty cheap on their own, um, and the five fists are mostly all rares, the ones that you need for the deck. So I'll bring that to the channel tomorrow. Hopefully it'll help you out, help um, some of you out in PvP. And with beatdown, look, 3,000 3, is so powerful. Dark worlds can't compete with them either because you clock up the field so fast they can't do anything about it. So we get a DC because it always DCs if you take quite a lot of damage in one turn. We Woo. Yeah, so what we've learned today is that Fire Fist cannot compete in this meta. They need some more support. And hopefully, um, there's a new box around the corner. Hopefully that has some more Fire Fist in it. I'd love to see some more Fire Fist in, um, support. So we stay in Legend 1. Yeah, like, I'll just show you these two decks. There's that. Mine's a lot different from that. There's that one. And then this guy's running the same as well, Hazy. That's a lot That's a lot cleaner. I love that deck right there. Three of them, three. That's a, that's a cool deck. If you have them exact cards and run that deck, you'll get to um, Legend so quickly. Especially if you're in like Gold or um, Platinum. You'll easily get up to Legend. 
Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. It really helps out the channel. Leave down below comments on um, cards you'd like to see in the next box. For me personally, I would love to see more Fire Fist cards. I think they'll be a great tech into the game, and Fire Fists are a lot of fun. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.